Increasing numbers of protesters are transitioning from standoffs on the streets to military and weapons training in the jungle, fronted by some of the ethnic armies that have been fighting Myanmar's security forces for decades. Last month in the city of Bago, north of Yangon, protesters faced one of the deadliest crackdowns by security forces. More than 80 people were killed. This activist from Bago was there. He was shot while on the streets protesting. He does not want to be identified. He said the security forces were using rocket-propelled grenades. After that day, he and nine other activists wanted to do more. So they left to train with one of the Karin ethnic armies. I've seen the ethnic Karin army fight with Myanmar's army on social media. I saw the Karin groups fighting together against the army. I'm grateful for everybody that supports each other in the crisis right now. I want democracy to return to Myanmar. And that fighting has intensified in the Karin controlled areas since the coup in February, sending civilians fleeing for their lives into hiding. 18 year old Da Gai Lor is ethnic Karin, and she has witnessed the fighting between the rebels and the Myanmar army since she was a girl. She started training after finishing high school, initially refusing to learn how to use firearms. But that changed once she saw the attacks on her people. I want to help people and I want to have freedom in our lives. I don't want the junta taking advantage of the people. That's the reason why the Burmese protesters are coming to our camp to receive training. The majority Bamar ethnic group historically has not become involved with the ethnic rebel armies. That's changing. So what you have is the ethnic Pama and the ethnic minorities uh, coming together uh, to fight against a common enemy, which is a military that is running amok. And uh, this extends also uh, to the youth. Uh, the Gen Z youth in, in, in places like Mandalay and Yangon now have common cause with the ethnic youth, uh, whether it be the Karen or the Kachin or the Kareni or the Mon youth. Even though the two groups have different views and experiences in fighting the army, at the end of the months-long training, they're drawn closer together in what appears to be a growing and more unified front against the junta's forces. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera.